You don't have to plead with me But I gave you freely Cause you have my favor My face is turned toward you You have my attention You're the one that I Of the cat, destroyed by the truth, to dismantle every weapon that the enemy tried to use to make you think that you were unworthy, undeserving. Don't you think you were the burden when you know you are the blessing?
sharing let's see who is sharing who's sharing who's sharing amen god bless you we praise the lord today this is the day he has definitely made and we're rejoicing and we're glad in it uh yet we thank the lord for each and every person here who has sat on my voice we're going to go over our prayer points this is day two of your fast 
and we want to make sure that you got your prayer points that were posted in the group. But quickly, let me see where everybody's calling from. So take a moment and share, especially on Facebook, share, share, share. They've been doing something weird with the numbers where it's not sharing. So um, on Facebook, on Instagram, on on um, YouTube, I want to see where you're calling from and just let us know that you've shared real quickly. So let me look. Let's see. <laughs> I just learned to trust you. I learned that you do exactly what you say you're gonna do. If your words say it, you're gonna do it. You gave me a rhema word, you spoke it into my life, and it began to manifest. The devil came and tried to trick me and say it wouldn't happen. It looked like it wasn't possible, but you came through. You came through. Every time I look around, you do what you say you're gonna do, God. And I just love you. Yeah, hallelujah. You do what you say you're gonna do. Oh God, there's so I see a bunch of you guys. All right, Hillary in Texas, by way of Ghana. Uh, we have uh, LBC, Cynthia. We have South Carolina, Brian Washington. Becky, God bless you, Ontario. Uh, we have Karen, LA, Huntsville, Alabama, Alicia, uh, Stafford, Connecticut. We have uh, Elizabeth, we have Wanda, New York. We have Michigan, Vaughn. We have Tawana and Eastville. We've got Detroit in the house. We have Roslyn in New Jersey. God bless you, Shamika, New York, uh, North Carolina. God bless you, Birmingham, Alabama. Well, there's Florida in the house. NYC, Nicole, Michigan is in the house. New Jersey is in the house. Yaisha and uh, Albany, New York is in the house. Let me see. We have Canada, Georgia. God bless you. We have South Africa, amen, God bless you. We have Saudi Arabia, God bless you. Alvina, South Africa, God bless you. My daughter Paulina in, in uh, Dubai, God bless you. We have uh, LaShawn in Inglewood, bless you. We have Latasha from LA, bless you. We have Miami, Nina, God bless you, Nina. We've got my son, Jason Prudence. That's what everybody wants to talk to about the Airbnbs. He's got to post it again, because they're asking. God bless you. Cheyenne, hi daughter. Connecticut, God bless you. Uh, good to see you so much. I love you. Portland, Oregon, Selena, oh, oh, Portland, Oregon. We have North Carolina, red, red, my red ruffles. We have Louisiana. I'm an overcomer. We have Minnesota. Tammy, God bless you. And in, in Minnesota, good. The Minnesota is blessed because of you. We've got another one from New York. Let me just check some of my YouTubes real quickly. Uh, Santa Clarita, Ashley, bless you. Central Iowa, Christine, bless you. Spanish Town, Jamaica, Dion, bless you. We are national, international, and the UK, bless you. God is so good. His mercy endures forever. I see Levon in Vegas, big blessings to you. Uh, Ventura, Desiree, Alina, Los Angeles, bless you. Uh, and then Glendale, uh, Sky Sky, Georgia, hair color, and Shears, Inc. God bless you with your fly hair. And then Kingston, Jamaica. And we have also Banis and Gardena. Uh, uh, God is good. Hi, Josh. I was just thinking about you this morning. You got to come back. Don't let work keep you from the work of the Lord because God was talking to me about you in the restroom. The Lord was saying that no matter what, that your gift shall make room for you. This might be for someone else too. Your gift shall make room for you. And so God said, press to be in the house of the Lord because God said that as you grow in your prophetic, that your eyes would be open even greater. Greater. And so um, don't let the enemy ever keep you from trying to press in to the people because God wants you to speak to uh, some people. Amen. So I see an elevation coming for you, Josh. Um, I put you on our list for our bereavement to call you today just to check in with you. Kenya, hi, Eve. God bless you. And Kenya, you know, um, yesterday, I was in the bathroom this morning and God began to speak to me about you, Josh. You literally, I already sent her name, your name to LaShawn to check on you today. Um, 
And we want to be lifting up our, our sister, Valona. Um, I got a message that her sister suddenly passed yesterday, who's only 27. So we want to um, keep Valona in prayer today. God is good. Uh, we do our Q&A today, but God was giving me a quick little message. And if you have not gotten your prayer points on your fast, please continue to fast. People are so shocked sometimes. They're like, can I just do anything? I said, no, follow the directions on the fast. Read your prayers, line your prayers out loud. If you notice the prayers are geared towards some specific things, um, new heart, new spirit, because why would you need a new spirit? to cause you to walk in God's ordinances. If you've had a hard time obeying God and some people have had a very hard time fasting, you shall finish your fast. Your eyes shall see. Alina said her eyes are, uh, are open. She's seen. And I loved, I, I had the most amazing one-on-one. So if you are brand new and I did not get a, a quick one-on-one with you, um, we will do that again next week so I can know, especially the people I don't know um, and I'm getting to know. I, you guys, yesterday, I talked to people completely, almost 20, out of 20 people, 15 out of 20 were international and they were all over the world. And I was like, whoa, I, I didn't even know some of the people were there. So I know God wants me to connect with you. I was able to release blessings. I would be able to get to know you, know um, how to pray for you, uh, decrease some things, give answers. It's only five minutes, but it's a way that we can connect and I can get 20 people in in an hour. So we almost stayed on track. So um, thank God for each and every one of you that were connected because God, my calling is to make sure that I'm doing my prophetic calling. What my, I'm as the prophet, I'm the pointer finger. I'm literally to decree and declare some things will never manifest until you, uh, a person of God has agreed with you, elevated you, unlocked you, and spoken to you. And so sometimes you have to get connected and joined with a prophet. So just go ahead and send a message to Desiree at soulsandnoblecharacter.com um, and or go to the website lifelinetnt.org. So the www.lifelinetnt.org or Desiree, D E S I R E E at souls, S-O-U-L-S, of noble character. And they'll post it, please. If somebody could post it on the Facebook and Instagram for me, that would be super helpful. Um, I like, I got to speak with people, I was checking in their families. I don't just know you, I know your families and situations. One lady was in South Africa and God gave me a word for her mother and, and how to get her mother's business to work. And, 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 and God is giving some prophetic things. And I love that because he, he knows you no matter where you are in the earth, he wants to reach you. So I can speak to someone here in China and it's released in China. I can speak to somebody in Saudi Arabia and it is so it manifests. So I love that. So how do I know that this is fact? Let's, um, realistically, I'm just, I'm led to turn to 1 Samuel, the first chapter real quick. And, and this will show you um, the, the things of God. 1 Samuel, um, the first chapter. There's two things that God wants me to show you real quickly. We study to show ourselves approved here. We stay, we stay in the word of God. This is what keeps us from air. So people okay. begin to say, oh, it's some juju. How are you gonna be able to see those things? How are you not gonna be able to see those things in the kingdom of God? Because you should be able to see those things, right? You should be able to see. Why would I be able to see? Be, well, well, my pastor doesn't do that. This is out of order. People who do not know the word of God when they begin to say such things. Oh, this is out of order. How can you begin to pray like that? How can you see like that? That's not God. Oh, you could be getting off into some things that are not of God. So you expect the kingdom of darkness to see greater than the kingdom of God? I, I just want to say that. They, they expect the kingdom of darkness to be able to see greater than the people in the kingdom of God. They expect them to have more power and then, than God does? I, I don't think so. So, uh, oh, and so you are supposed to be able to see. All the devil is is an imitator. He imitates the things of God. And so the things of God are before you, but literally we all have to be there by being unlocked. People who are involved in the witchcraft and different things, they had a mentor. Somebody came and taught them the way, the craft. We're in God craft. We're not in witchcraft. We're in God craft. People who are involved in witchcraft take it very seriously. They take it more serious than most Christians. So we're taking it seriously. We're studying to show ourselves approved. We are being unlocked. We're being transformed. We're being renewed. I love last week the people that are dreaming here, the people that are having supernatural revelation in their own home from here, that I could speak something and it manifest in your life, that your life is changed, that God knows you. He knows your name. He loves what you do. And that's what's so beautiful. Good morning, Prophetess Taryn. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. 
Atlanta, Prophet Joseph, praise God for you. So literally, you guys, we're being unlocked. And people don't think you have to be unlocked, but you do. People think you don't have to be connected, but you do. People think you don't have to be at the right place, but you have to be at the right place at the right time. And when you're doing the right thing, God will have a divine connection for you. How do you think Pentecost broke off? Pentecost literally jumped off because the people stayed where God told them to be. There is a specific location where your blessing is. Go to a place I will show you. He says to, to in the first chapter, excuse me, the 12th chapter of Genesis, he tells Abraham, go to a place I will show you. He said immediately he rose up and he went. Where did he go? We don't know. He didn't even know where he was going. He got up and he obeyed the voice of God. And as he went, God began to direct him. And when he got to the promised land, God said, this is the place. So there is a place you're supposed to be right now. The place right now is on, on Facebook and you're supposed to be on Instagram and you're supposed to be on Periscope and you're supposed to be on YouTube and you're supposed to be on Zoom. You are located by God and God is calling you higher and he's opening up your eyes. So this is your time. So in witchcraft, these people are learning their craft. They are learning it. So if I have a craft and my craft is sewing, if my craft is listening to music, if I hung out with Beethoven, even though I know nothing about music for 30 days, what's going to happen to me? I'm going to be able to hit no chords. I'm going to be able to relate to it, even though I don't know much. I mean, I might start with that was my first day. But by the end of 30 days, if Beethoven is teaching me, you don't think I'm not going to learn how to run a chord? You don't think he's not going to teach me something? You don't think you can hang out with somebody that's a master and you can't get their anointing to rub off on you? Even if you just learn to listen and hear different chords, you know when something is off. You learn that craft. So when you're in God craft, you are literally learning how that works. But people have done religion over the works of God. So there should never be just the word of God and not the demonstration of the works of God. I'm going to say it one more time. There should never be just a going to church. Oh, praise and worship. Hallelujah. Was praise and worship good? Yes. But that is to get you where? Even to the presence of, of, of God, where you and God are in a place where you're, you're what? Entering his gates. You're entering his gates with what? Thanksgiving. So there's a process to this. You don't just come to God in any kind of way. God has, has a format. I mean, if somebody wanted to marry you, can they just come any kind of way? Like today we're getting married. You're like, who are you? Back up. I don't know you, uh, you were crazy. It's a process of getting to know one another. So literally you began to what? You began to go through the steps of getting to know them. God tells you how to come to him. Enter my gates with thanksgiving. So you start off with, I thank you, Lord. You're amazing. You're awesome. I would thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for the air I breathe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I enter his courts. So the, the, to get into the courts, I have to get through the gates. Hello? If somebody wants to go to your house, they have a gate and to get to your front door, they have to pass what? The gate to get to the door. So God is telling you his direction. Oh, I don't know if this is helping anybody. Ah, oh, man. Do we have the little one so we can connect the speaker? Yes. I don't know. Am I, is somebody mama. understanding what I'm trying to tell you? You don't just go to God and be like, hey, what's up, God? You, but is it connected already? Can somebody say something? Amen. 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 Amen, mama. Amen. 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 Can you hear us? It's not, it's not connected. Yeah. Okay. Hold yeah, on, guys. Here. We're going to switch you. She's going to switch the speaker. She got to turn it off and turn it back on. Okay. Let me see. Talk to me once more time. One more time. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Myself. Amen. I was definitely talking to myself. Let me try. Good morning. Like, oh, we you can come on the other side mm -hmm. and see if we, can, we can see if we can. Now, let me see if I can hear you. Say something again, guys. Hello. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You guys. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, so I'm telling you how to get to the presence. Don't just go to God like any kind of way. He says, enter my gates with thanksgiving. So you're thanking him first. Amen. Thanking him for what? For who he is. When thanksgiving is different than worship. Who he is, uh, what he's done, what he's going to do. And you're thanking him for everything. It's just thanksgiving. Spend a moment in thanksgiving. Oh, I'm helping you. Number one. Somebody's going to take these and post these. Number two, he says, now enter my courts with praise. So the first place to get to the courts, how do you guys, what's the first step you got to do? Come on. Praise. Thanksgiving. 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 And then he says, and enter my courts with praise. Praise. So, giving and praise. And so he's saying there's two different things. 
I praise you, God, for this. I praise you that you made a way for me. I praise you, God, that you've done it for me. And thank you for, I praise you for the calling of my life. And now, so when you enter, and now you get into a place where you can actually arrive somewhere in him, you're actually, now you're inside the gates. So you're going there with the Lord. And he says, pray like this, our father, which all art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy name is hallowed. And then he says, what? He says, thy kingdom come, your will be done. You're praying his will on earth as it is in heaven. Give me today my daily bread. Right now you're getting your daily bread. That's why I know your parents told you to pray it at night. How many of you guys' parents had you pray in a prayer at night? Come on, my parents did. Why are you praying at night? We said, are we listening? Give us this day our daily bread. It's the day prayer. <laughs> you're going to sleep, but you're praying the day prayer. Unless you're praying at 6 p.m. So give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us. So he's teaching you the ways of the Lord. He's teaching you what to do. So it's an amazing thing for the Lord for you to begin to know how to get into where you are able to commune with him. Okay. So with that said, are we, how many of you guys are at Psalms, the first chapter? Which I'm not. I want to show you something. So as God is unlocking you, we're bringing you to q and I promise you, just give me 10 minutes and we'll be at Q&A. Two minutes. I will give you a QA. I want to give you your daily bread because God is really saying this. He's showing you why he brought you here. He's showing you why you're studying, why you're reading your word, why you're knowing this word, because he's unlocking mm -hmm. you. The more you see these things, the more you watch the power of God, it becomes mm -hmm. your Lord the more you're learning it. We uh, you're, you, we started off with 30 days, but I was supposed to quit a month ago, but I'm still here because people were like, please don't stop our challenge. I need to learn. I need to study to show myself approved. I need to press into things of God. And God said, amen, so we're still here. So I want to show you something, why it's important to have the prophet in your life and what the importance of a prophet can do. So here we see, um, my pages are blowing. It says here, uh, 21st verse, uh, read for me, Sydney. First Samuel's right. Uh-huh. Okay. First Samuel verse 21. Now the man, El Elkanah, El 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 and all his house went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. Uh-huh. But Hannah did not go up. For she said to her husband, not until the child is weaned. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold, on. hold on, I'm sorry. Let me back up first. Okay, so I, I got I to get you to the other part. All right, so I'm gonna start at three. This man went out of his city annually to worship and to sacrifice to the Lord, the host of Shinnah. And there was two sons of Eli, uh, Phineas and, and uh, Pinoni, and says they were priests of the Lord. When the day came to Elkanah set a, uh, uh, sacrifice. He had he he had gave portions to Penina, his wife, and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved Hannah. Hannah was barren. You might be barren in your life, and some areas have been barren. But God wants to change your barrenness. You might have been uh, broke, but God wants to change the fact that you have been living in poverty. You might have been down and out or sick, and God wants to change your dynamics. Your marriage might have been on the rocks, but you meet a prophet of the Lord. Your marriage is transformed. Uh, you see a Saul, and a Saul has lost his donkeys. You go to the prophet. The prophet can give you direction. That's what the job is of the prophet: is to give you direction. And the prophet is also to release the blessing, Gehazi and, and Elisha release the baby to the womb of a woman. So they can release babies, they can give you directions and they can give you protection. So here the prophets were always with the kings because they were able to give them directions. The king did not move without the prophet. They were so shocked because they thought there was a spy among them because the prophet was giving them answers. The prophet's not a regular position. You don't see anywhere in the Old Testament where everybody's like, oh, false apostles. Oh, false pastors. Oh, false evangelists. Oh, false teachers. You hear everything about, oh, false prophets. But literally, the prophet is a prophetic office has always been um, attacked because the prophetic office is the one that protects people in positions, even in authority. So the kings had prophets that told them when someone was coming against them. The prophets, if God had interest in you, God has to have vetted interest in you. What are you called to do? 
If you have a calling and you're moving in that calling, God has a better interest in you. For me, I didn't know I had a full calling till what? A prophet called my phone. The prophet called my phone. My life changed forever in January 30th, 2000, uh, the year 2001. When he called me, he said, you're going to be living in California. I'm not going to California. You're going to be preaching and teaching. I am not preaching and teaching. I don't preach and I don't teach. I was like, you have the wrong person. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is I've been there. Here? I've been there. Are you, catching, are you catching? Where am I at now? Where do I live? I can relate. Catching, California, Mama. preaching and teaching. California. California. And you're going to be a prophet. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. I was like, no, I'm sorry, sir. Um, you have the wrong person. Um, I only know two scriptures. I don't preach. I don't teach. Yes. Uh, thank you, but no thank you. And yes. I have phone. That's crazy, mama. Like, I can't even imagine that. <laughs> Not two scriptures, you guys. Two. Genesis 1-1 one, one, and John 3-16. <clears throat> Literally, I was shocked because I started to study the Bible like I have you guys study. This is why I know the power of being unlocked by a prophet. I literally came to one Bible study. I was like, okay, I gave you enough time. I'm going home at the end. And nobody left, but I knew something was off. Why did everybody leave? I'm the only one leaving. I stayed. Let me stay and see what goes on when prayer time comes. I wasn't leaving the next week. I knew something was going on, that I was missing something. So literally I stayed the next week. People are getting prophetic words. Demons are being cast out. God is doing mighty works. I was so amazed at the work of God, how God loved his people and how he was delivering them. And I was like, I've never in my life, I've been to church my whole life. I never seen people set free. I never seen prophetic words like that. It wasn't like, yeah, I got prophecy. People say that prophecy, they don't see, you know, oh, I've given prophetic words. No, you know, when you come to our church, we see, you know, there's a difference of people to see and people that say that they see It's say, oh, you're just going to get a blessing the Lord is that's not how we do here we really see from the Lord and hear from God so it's amazing when you hear what God is doing because God is is wanting to unlock you and so he brings you to a place where you can hear a word and be unlocked by a person who's been unlocked already so that day I, st I went, came back the next week and the next week and within I'm not joking within 90 days you guys I was a spiritual giant so that's why I give you guys your morning faith to faith because I started with the faith to faith. That's why I got up and do Bible study because somebody got up and did Bible study at 6 a.m. with me. And then I took it a step further. It was like, I'm getting up and praying at 5 a.m. I'm going to kill this flesh. I'm starting to fast. So I give you guys the way we learn to fast and pray. It unlocked something inside of me where all of a sudden inside of me, something began to happen and brew. I began to know things. I began to see things. I began to hear things. I began to hear the voice of God. I could go to cancer wards and heal people. But I went with somebody first and they showed me how to do it. And then I was able to go do it by myself. God is showing you so you can do it by yourself, but a prophet must unlock you. So that's why you guys are coming to LA in December 3rd and 4th. You're, many of you are coming, you'll never be the same. Many of you have been in this word. You say, oh, I've been to all kinds of conferences. I don't care what kind of conference you've been to. You have not been to an encounter with Jesus in 2020. You have not Hallelujah. been to where God will unlock you and transform you and heal your mind and touch your heart and transform you and deliver you and set you free. You have not been to that place yet. So God is trying to take you to this place where you can be transformed, healed, and you find out exactly who you are. I thought I knew who I was back then. At that point in time, I had done pretty good for myself. I was 24 years old. I had already owned a house. I had already had a degree. I was already in the middle of my master's degree. I had one class left when God called me. I already had three children. I've been married for years. I was going through a divorce. I had been Miss Oregon. I'd done a lot of things at 24 years old, but to know I would be able to help the people of God, set people free, deliver people, walk in the power of God, know God like this as my provider, as my way maker is, as someone I could trust and rely on and, and relate to. And he can relate to me and he could begin to change my life. I did not know that. And he said, call into me and I'll show you things you do not know. So here, the reason I'm going in this scripture in first Samuel is because she had to get to a place. She was frustrated with her life because she did not. There's a barren place. I was still wasn't happy with all the things I had. There was still an emptiness inside of me. I hadn't been delivered from the molestation at 11 years old that my parents blamed me for and spanked me for. I had been delivered from the rape that I had at 18 years old. I had not been delivered from the rejection of my family. I had not been delivered. I was just going on with life. Have you ever been going on with life? 
trying to put the pieces back together and you know that you just don't have it all together. You still falling, you still cutting up, you still saying just anything. So literally my life was going on, but I still had issues and I still had problems within myself. So God wants to heal all that. That's why you can have healing, but God wants you to have wholeness. There's a difference between healing and wholeness. He says, God has healed you and made you whole. He heals you first, then he makes you whole. So he brought you here to heal you and to make you whole, to give you purpose and direction. The prophet comes and directs you and begins to transform your life and change you. And so when he changes your life, it starts off with one word. The word puts you into the atmosphere so God can be in the work. You have to submit to the process. So here, Elkanah is giving his wife portion. She does not have a child. She said, it, God, it says that the Lord had closed her womb. It says, now, revival, if the Lord had closed something up, how did she get unlocked? How do you get unlocked, Lisa? How do you get unlocked, like Tasha, Alina? How do you get unlocked, Bonnie's? You get unlocked because God sends a person to unlock you. They hold the keys to your destiny. I wish it wasn't like that, but that's how God called it to be. Every person you look at has a key to open you up. If that boss has to hire you, they have the key for you to get that job. If you want to have a position, that, so if you hold the keys, if you're the woman and the man wants to marry you, he has to ask for your permission to marry you. He, You hold the key to that relationship. If you are a parent, you hold the keys to your children's lives because you're the one who will lock them or unlock them. You are the one who will point them in the right direction and shoot them where they're supposed to go. If you know this if it's been done for you. So this is a direction where you have to know that God is calling you to now begin to come into your place so you could open up doors for other people. It's about others. It's not about where he's taking you. If I had stayed bound, if I had stayed unforgiving, if I had stayed jealous, if I stayed um, um, irritated, hi India, India is blessed because of you. If I stayed upset, if I stayed unforgiving, if I stayed bitter, if I stayed angry at people, if I stayed rude, if I stayed in my character, I would never know what it is to know the love of God so I can set captives free. I would never have come into this place. So if I stayed in that place and didn't fast, where would you guys be today? If I did not, and where, where, would, where would Latasha be today? Where, where would where would Karen be who's been delivered by so many things? Where would Larry be today? Larry's at home praying for his family, you know? Where, where, where would, where would Gina be? Where would you, where would Desiree be? You know, where would Tracy be who was something is scratching her and biting her? Where would you guys be if I stayed stuck? Oh God, if I stayed bound, if I stayed in my position, where would you be if I don't choose to increase and get better? I can't help anybody if I don't help myself. God is doing something for you. It's really for others. And I remember I was having a pity party one day a long time ago. And I was like, God, I'm always in trouble because my leader was teaching me. It was like, to change. only way to change you guys is to change. So I began to change, but when I was changing, it hurt. It was like growing pains. And, and I was getting corrected every day, you guys. So if you feel like, oh, I'm always in trouble. Yeah, that was me. And I was like, I'm always in trouble. My goodness, I'm crying and boohooing for God. Like, I don't understand. I just can't do anything right. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you're on a fast track. Do you want me to put you on the regular pace of other people? Because you're either going to grow or you're going to send you back. So you have to complain. And then he said, how long must the souls wait while I get you together? I was like, oh. So he let me know souls were attached to my life. If, if I don't get it together, you guys will be delayed. Your blessing was attached to me. So my obedience, somebody is attached to your blessing. Somebody's attached to your anointing. You have to get your life together. You have to get where you can be able to bless somebody else. You have to be there on the live so you can pray for people. You are the, God, the devil loves to prick you up and get you busy so you can't prophesy, so you can't unlock people, so you can't transform lives. And he has you distracted when you're supposed to be here growing and connected. And you'll have to start over again on the process if you want don't go through the tough stages. So I had to go through my bad attitude and get rid of it. I had to go through the fact that I don't want to fast. I want to eat. My, I, I got a headache. Yeah, I have a headache. My flesh is saying, feed me and give me what I want. I had to tell my flesh, no, I'm not going to eat. 
I'm fasting. I'm tired of being rude. I'm tired of being angry. I'm tired of, of, of these blocks in my life. I need to be free. So I had to starve something else to kill it. No, there's a person that you're killing inside of you that is not who God called you to be. There's someone fighting you. You have to win this fight and say, no, 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 no. You're not going to steal from me anymore. You're not going to kill. There's people attached to me and their freedom is in, within me. So I need to get to this place so I can do what God called me to do. You're teaching good, mama. Amen. So Amen. I, was I willing to die so I could be here today for you? Oh, I've had to die. Oh, I had to take a hard rap. But it was worth it all because I know God and I can give you something that I've experienced. I've been translated where God picked me up and moved me somewhere else. I've had dreams upon dreams where God has guided my life in dreams. I've been able to hear the voice of God. I've actually been able to see God and be at Golgotha. He snatched me up one time and took me to a place and spoke to me. I didn't know what I was doing when he did it, but I got to see him and, and, I, and I got to experience him and I got to experience being caught up. I've got to know the world, some of the world's most amazing prophets. I've been taught by some great people and had opportunities. I've bought houses. I've had failures. I've, I've got divorces. I've had hurts and pains and sorrow. I've been betrayed. I've been wounded. I've had to love them and help them. When people come back around, I have to still bless them. I know what it's like to go through. I've endured. I've had great adult children. I have little children. I know what it's like to have been uh, a successful. I've worked in corporate America. I know what it's like to take orders. I know what it's like to take instruction. I know what it's like to build from the ground up. I know what it's like to have everything and then lose everything and come back. If I didn't have these experiences, how could I help you in anything? I know what it's like to run businesses for years successfully. I know what it's like to lose your job and then God take you into your purpose. I know what it's like to change states and not know anybody and then have to grow from scratch. I know what it's like to go to another country and you don't speak the language and then have to try to learn to communicate with the people. I know what it's like to, uh, to have been with a narcissist and be tricked and swindled and people to take advantage of you and you're still playing by an uh, honest game and they're playing some other game and you still have to be the person of God. I know what it's like to walk in the power of God. I know what it's like to cast out devils. I know what it's like to heal the sick. I know what it's like to begin to open eyes. I know what it's like to grow somebody's limbs back. I know what it's like to be able to unlock, some, unlock somebody. I know what it's like to bring somebody in my house and have them betray you. I know what it's like to pay somebody's rent and still have them betray you and lie and cheat and steal up against you. I know what it's like to be stolen from and you bless people. I know what these things are like and God has shown me so now I have something to give if I never had experience and I've never had these things. I know what it's like when your parents came against you, when nobody in your family believed you, when they laughed at you, but then they would come back and be like, I knew you were great. I know what it's like. I know what these things are like. I've experienced death. I've experienced life. I've experienced all kinds of things. This is how I can bless others because God has overcome all of these things so that you can walk in freedom. So your barrenness is removed. The state that you're in is changing and transforming. So it says here, it says, so Hannah wept and did not eat because the other woman was provoking her. Someone has been provoking you. Something has been provoking you. And it says, now Eli, now Hannah rose and they had went to eat. I'm in first Samuel, the ninth chapter. And it says in Shiloh. And after they had drunk, drank, now Eli, the priest, he was the person to unlock her. You guys has to be a person in a position of authority. And it says, the priest was sitting in a seat by the door of the tabernacle, and she was bitter and praying to the Lord. Her bitterness caused her to cry out to God. See, she realized nothing else is working. I'm not getting pregnant. Let me go to God. Let me go to God. So she wept out bitterly to God. And she said, so, uh, pray, pray to the Lord and wept severely. So she made a vow. She made a vow. She made a vow to God. Amen. She made a vow to the Lord. And she said, oh, Lord of hosts, if you indeed look upon my affliction of the maidservant, remember me and not forget your maidservant, but will give your maidservant a baby boy. She was specific in her prayer. Have you gone to God? Have you been specific in your prayer? Because you can make a deal with God and God will say, done. And she says, Amen. Then. then I will give him to you all day of his life and no razor should touch his head. She was making a Nazarite vow to him. 
No razor should touch his head. He will not touch grapes. He will not uh, consume those things. He will not be of the world. He's dedicated to you. I'll give this child to you. So God takes the deal. Do you, let me tell you, it's a little bit deeper than you guys understand. Watch this. Why does God take the deal? Because, because the, the priest, Eli had two sons, but they were not righteous. Just because they're your kids doesn't mean they're holy. Just because they're your mom and dad doesn't mean they're righteous. Just because it's your husband doesn't mean that he's right or your wife. Look, just because it's family doesn't mean that they're going to hear you and accept you and love you. So watch this. His kids don't follow the ways of God and God has cursed his boys. So what's going to happen is God needs somebody as a successor, as a priest, because Eli's getting old. So he doesn't have a priest. Eli needs a son. God needs a priest. Hannah needs a baby. Match made in heaven. Deal. You give me your baby. You give him to the priest. I have my man. I'll raise him up. He'll do my calling. If your prayer request is aligned with the calling of God, God will release it from heaven. I'm telling you, good right now. Deal mm. with God. God wow. needs something from you. And if she had gotten that baby in the first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, she would have never given the baby up. Sometimes the delay is to get you to give God something he wants in you. You'll give it up freely. You'll make, and you will keep that vow. So watch what she says. She makes the vow to God. God accepts the deal. So watch how we know he accepts the deal. He sends a man to release the child. He has to agree. The priest is under the locker to release her. So it says here, as she was praying before the Lord. Now, she just prays. Eli watched her mouth. Now, Hannah was speaking in her heart. Her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. There, Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli says to her, how long will you be drunk? Put away your wine from you. Hannah answers, says, no, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrow. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul to the Lord. Do not consider your maidservant to be a sinful woman, but out of the abundance of, out of, the abundance of my concern and provocation, see, somebody provoked you to pray. Somebody provoked you to seek God. That situation got bad enough. You were like, I need Jesus. I need to hear from him. I cannot go another step. I cannot go another day. I cannot carry this stuff inside of me. Do you guys understand the other day how many people called me with confessions they never told anybody? How much stuff was held inside of them? Who was raped? Who was molested? Who was hurt? Grown women, 45, 50 years old, confessing what they never could get out. It's stuck inside of them. They've been bound. Something is, a, is preventing them from moving forward. And many of you got free. Confessing abortion, confessing pain, confessing hurt, confessing all of these things of being abandoned and being uh, felt like you're not loved. Your parents attacked you. You were hurt. And there's a point in time it provoked you to pray. So God got you to a place where you can get free. He doesn't want you carrying that. He doesn't want you to keep anything to keep you bound. He doesn't want you there. So God loves you so much. I pray your lungs are healed, Pastor Bree. In the name of Jesus, I decree healing to you. According to Isaiah 53, verse four and five. Right now, I speak healing to your lungs. You shall live and not die, declare the works of the Lord. So here it says, it says, then Eli answered and said, go in peace. And the Lord, the God of Israel, grants you your request that you have asked him. All Eli had to do was speak the word. The man with the office, the man with the position could speak the word if you got with the right person. Amen. They can decree it and it manifests. Larry, I remember the first time I prophesied to Larry, he's like, hey, do you do anything with radio or anything? He was like, no. I was like, okay. And I was like, well, I see something with radio. I just went on like whatever. A week later, because I've spoke it, God had to allow him to be walking his dog and a woman invites him on the radio. Has to happen. I spoke it into existence. It manifests. Amen. Amen. So then he says, 
And she said, let your maidservant find grace in your sight. So the woman went her way and her face was not sad anymore. Meaning she understood the man blessed her and that she would conceive and have a child. I don't care if you were barren before, you are blessed now. I don't care if you were broke, you are, are strong now. You are. I don't care if you didn't have a job, you have a job now. I don't care if you didn't have a home, you have a home now. I don't care if you were you weren't married, you have a husband that's finding you. You have a wife that's out there for you. You have transformation finding you. You have changed Amen. the thing. You have newness. You have favor Amen. following you. You might have had everything Amen. bad, but your life is turned for the good and that things are going to rise up. You are having everything established. Your paperwork's in order. Your things are done. Things have turned around. Those that wanted to attack you no longer will attack you. You will begin to shut doors that couldn't be closed. You will begin to move to places that are going to transform your life. God is decreeing that today is your day for transformation and change, that those things that weren't working began to work. Can these dry bones live? Only thou knowest prophesy to them. I prophesy that you shall live and not die. I prophesy healing to your bones. I prophesy health to your mind. I prophesy that you will not be taking that medicine. I told one of my daughters, she told me yesterday on the live that I said, you will not be taking that medicine. She said, I came off all the medicine that you said in within six months because I spoke it. She's come off all the medicine. She's found her purpose. She's found her calling. She's found her anointing. She's found where she's supposed to be. She found her place. The prophet came to God and direct you to where you're supposed to be healing deliverance found you wholeness as you're connected you go for free and you're in purpose to set captives free when she first came she was in a depressed mode she didn't even want to come and i called her and i said come please you'll never be the same and she came and she was never the same depression had to leave her the pills she was taking had to go she she was in a shamble they were coming for her car in her house that stopped we stopped all that and rebuked it and she had favor then she had no jobs to wear no jobs i spoke and prayed she started sowing her offerings and her seeds she sowed a, a, a sacrificial seed and guess what she had choices like five and six jobs choices she was able to transform her office next thing you know she's in purpose and ministry because she had a heart transformation in one year her life changed from one encounter with the right person at the right place at the right time this is your time and your season to be encountered. This is your time in your season to be changed. This is your time in your season to walk in the fullness of God. This is your time in your season to love more. This is your time in your season to forgive, to forget about those things, to be transformed in the renewing of your mind. Amen. I receive. Then it says, um, the man Elkanah and all of his household went up before the Lord and for the yearly sacrifice. But Hannah did not go, for she said to her husband, I will not go until the child is weaned. Wait a minute, where'd the child come from? Because she what? Elkanah knew Hannah, knew means to have intimacy. He had sex with his wife and she what? It came to pass that she conceived and bore a son because the man of God released it by his voice. Prophetic offices have the voice of God on earth. They're the mouthpiece of God to the body. The head is the mouth to the body and God speaks his things into the earth. The angels can't move until it's spoken into the earth. So that's why there's ministering angels that are trying to get you to speak some things. Sometimes you just have to say it and it will begin to manifest because it can't come into the earth until you say, let there be peace. Let there be my home. Let there be my husband. Let there be finances to sow to the kingdom. Let there be health. Let there be restoration. Let there be wholeness. Let there be jobs. Let there be provisions. Let there be opportunities. Let there be my house. Let there be. You have to speak it into existence because God showed you how to do it. You have to let there be. You have to prophesy to it. And now the prophet comes and agrees with you. I sow a seed. You sow a seed and it begins to harvest. So remember what were her and her husband doing? They were coming to make yearly sacrifices to the Lord. So they sowed a seed while they were there. The priest blessed them and it was so. So it says here, so she has the child, right? And by the way, she had seven more children after that, you guys. <laughs> seven more, abundance, multiplication. He's not going to give you little. He's going to give you plenty, much more than you could ever ask for. Wholeness, transformation, restoration, abundance, everything you need is in him. So now if you turn the page and go to 1 Samuel, the third chapter, something else happens. I want you to look at the first chapter. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no visions coming forth. 
At that time, Eli was lying down in a place where, remember, Eli's the priest, and now Eli's raising up the boy, the, the, the new priest to come, the new man of God that's going to speak the words of God, the prophet. He's raising up the prophet, but he doesn't know he's a prophet yet till this moment. So at that time, Eli, which one was that? Um, Eli was lying down in his place. Now his eyes began to grow weak. He could not see. The lamp of the Lord had not yet gone out. And Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of ark was. So really the presence of God was there because the ark is there, but he does not hear God. The man's lamp is out. So it says here, the Lord says to Samuel, and he answered, here, he, call, he called to him, here I am. He ran to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. And he said, I did not call you, return, lie down again. And he went back and lay down. The Lord says to Samuel again. So Samuel arose and went to Eli. And he says, here I am, for you called me. And he says, I did not call you, son, return and lie down. Now Samuel did not know, did not yet, see the word yet? He did not yet know the voice of God. God is speaking to some of you and you do not know the voice of God yet. You don't know what God could say and what he would not say. You don't know what God is speaking. God wants you to know his voice. He wants you to recognize his voice. He wants you to recognize when his angels are working with you. He wants you to recognize when he's coming in your dreams. He wants you to recognize what's happening to you. He wants you to recognize why you've been through the situation, why you went through those circumstances, why you're in this position. And so uh, someone else has to come along and teach you to unlock you so that you can begin to go closer to God. That's how God made it. So he had to now show him things. I've called Roxanne many a times with words that she had questions to. I've called her when she didn't want to disturb me because God told me to call her because she had a connection. But you have to have a connection with the person so they can unlock you. So then I would call her. I would teach her something in the word and she was unlocked and she had understanding. So her, her, she never dreamed before. Many of you guys contact Roxanne about her dreams and pretty soon her website's coming up and she's going to have her new booklets, thing, booklets and things out. She does workshops. She unlocks you guys. But years ago, she got in my Bible study. She did not know anything. She wasn't a leader in her church. She had never done anything great in a giant church. I spoke that she would be a leader. I spoke that she would come forth. She said she thought it was nearly impossible to come forth. But because the prophet said it, it had been released into the earth. It had to manifest. So she begins to come higher and, and recognition begins to happen because I spoke it. Next thing you know, I told her that she's going to be doing dreams and dream interpretation. She's doing all that now in a mighty way. She has grown tremendously in it. And she's helped many of you because she is able to unlock your dreams and she's able to impart to you. My daughter was having dreams. My daughter, she went and sat with my daughter. Now she's unlocking my own daughter. Can you imagine that? I unlock her and then my daughter has to go to her to get unlocked. She, my daughter didn't come to me to get unlocked. My daughter called her. And so she, she, she is unlocking my daughters. They reach out to her for the words. And they're mighty. But she didn't start off like that. It was one word. So somebody has to teach you. You could not yet hear that God was speaking. She didn't know what was happening. I was able to, 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 to decode what God was doing and speak it over your life so you can walk into your fullness. Now she knows her purpose, her path, and her calling. She knows what God's called her to do. But she did not know that. Guess how she got here? A friend of hers, daughter, was dating my brother in college. The daughter, they said her sister was cuckoo. They, they were about to give her, put her on medication. They said she was out there. She, so they sent her to me. What do I do, guys? You come to me with a demon. You're not staying with a demon. Out. <laughs> you come you and ask them out. Put them out. When that demon manifested in her sister, that she couldn't even control her arms. Her, her arms were swinging like this. The demon was just swinging her arms. Her sister was there with her. We casted the demon out. Her, I had to walk her through the word and stay close to this other sister for a time after so she could grow in the word of God, get established. She's now married. She now has kids. They transformed her life. So it went because one got free. The sister went back on campus and she was full of the fire of God. And her and my brother, who are basketball players, were dating. And they began to do campus ministry and lay hands. And people got filled with the Holy Spirit. And they were doing revivals on campus because of one person getting free. And that so she calls Roxanne. And Roxanne gets on in our 6 a.m. phone call, dial up Bible study, and starts learning the word of God. And now she's in purpose. Amen. The, other lady, the lady's gone. She got her blessing. Her kids got free. She was she shung out for about a year or two. She bounced. But guess who remained? She brought Roxanne in. So Roxanne has been 
in the kingdom doing mighty works with fire. Rox and so Roxanne sees the other lady, the other lady has no fire, you guys. <laughs> I'm not trying to talk about anybody. I'm just saying there's no fire. There's no, there's no anointing. It's gone, dried up, G boots, gone. So some people just want God for the loaves and fishes. That's fine. Some people just want to come and get delivered. Some people can't want just healing. That's fine. Some people need direction. Some people need a word. It's not ever everybody, but you, God is called to raise you up to find what you're supposed to do so you can go do your purpose and calling and be set free. You can go and manifest the same things. You can go and do a great and mighty exploits for Jesus Christ. So you're here, you're connected, you're joined. So we're at Roxanne, my son is 13. He wasn't even born yet. 14 years ago, she was not who she is today. God did everything he told her he was going to do. He manifested those things in her life, but a prophet had to speak it. So I'm showing you, Eli said he did not yet know the voice of the Lord. My job was to teach her to hear God's voice. Is this true, Roxanne? Amen. I could be saying anything. Yes, it's true. In fact, the book I'm writing is about hearing God's voice, and I would not be writing that book had it not been for you and what you've invested in my life. Wow. See, see how God just prophetically did that, you guys? I'm talking about hearing God's voice. I use her as an example, and I don't know the book's called about hearing God's voice. Wow. I haven't told anybody what the title of the book is or what the book's about until right now. Wow, prophesy. Prophesy, Oh, Jesus. Now that's fire. You guys, so yeah. we're going to have to get her back on for a dream interpretation workshop. You guys want another one? Yeah. You guys, how many of you guys want, want Roxanne? Amen. Yes. Amen. yes. So Roxanne, yeah. you're going to have to, we're going to have to schedule you for another one. She yeah. unlocks you, you guys. She is awesome. But she has for Go ahead, Roxy. We got to get you back. We got to get you back. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> okay. So I was telling you guys, literally, she couldn't even see how God could manifest that at that time. Roxanne, could you see yourself being elevated when I told you you'd be noticed and recognized in your church and leadership at that time? Oh, absolutely not. My church is huge, 5,000 people. <clears throat> no. So the prophet, she went from being a nobody in her church when the prophet spoke, she became somebody where everybody, the pastors want to call and talk to her. And then you guys, she kind of got in trouble. You know why she got in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> She's such a sweet person. You guys, she is the sweetest person on earth. Guess why she got in trouble? Can anybody guess why she got in trouble? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> she to a journey. Moving in more power. Because she was doing more than the others. Guess what? She had, she, watch this. You guys are all right. Let me tell you what happened. She invited me to come, invited like 50 people to her house. I'm calling names of people I don't know. I'm casting out demons. They're getting set free. One lady was in, had a witchcraft and she was in her right mind afterwards. 17 of her family members got saved after. She is there. These people are on fire. One couple I talked to at her house, I said, you may not hear, want to hear this. I didn't know they had been demoted from ministry and they were at a hurt place by their pastors. And I said to her, I said, I said to her and her husband, you might not want to hear this, but I see you doing youth ministry. I see you pastoring. And they were just in a wounded state and everybody in there is laughing because I don't know anybody in there. I'm in Oregon. I just came to visit, came to her house. I come, I stand there. I just do what God says to do. Do you know that couple ended up getting an offer and now they're pastoring in Maryland? And I met her in Maryland and went to Prophet Passion's church with her. They're pastoring in Maryland. And she said that was the word they needed because they were so at their weakest point, their lowest point. And it happened at her house. So people were getting set free. People were getting delivered. And even, even the leadership that got mad, the words that I gave came to pass, even though they didn't even want them to come to pass. They did exactly what I said they were going to do. And so it was crazy that her home became a place where people were set free. So the more they persecuted her and they were like, you can't have her in her house. She just stayed in the will of God. So then we, after encounter last year, we had something else and it had, we couldn't even hold it at her house. It was people everywhere. The more they persecuted, the more people came, the more people, even do you remember Roxanne, my presence being there, and praying the word of God, one lady, she stood to the corner and she came there, the demon just started manifesting. I didn't even have to say anything. I didn't say come out, I didn't say leave. She just came to the front trembling and she said, I came here to get delivered. I came here to get set free. God touched 
a whole room of people and it was healing and delivering and prophetically going forth in Oregon. The more and, and, and she had to see what it was like to step out and do God's will regardless. But that's what happens when you meet a priest, a prophet, not a priest like that, but a prophetic mantle that can unlock you. And you find yourself writing books. You find yourself doing workshops. You find yourself with a website. You find yourself on podcasts when you don't think you're going to do these things. And so I've had to launch her into her calling and launch you guys into your purpose so that you could set captives free. Many of you will be prophesying. Many of you will be healing people. Many of you, you've already been delivered. I'm telling you, Tracy, the same thing that happened to you, you're going to do to others. I'm telling you, Karen, the same thing you did to other people, you're going to do too. That's why you guys came to www.lifelinetnt.org. That's why some of you were on Instagram and you were called here. You guys heard the girl yesterday. She said, I just woke up and I heard something say prophetess T. And she looked up and found me. And then she found her and got prophesied to. How amazing is God to be waking you guys up and drawing you to a place for you to be unlocked? You are favored of God. You are the remnant that will transform the world and show them what love and power looks like. We can't just bring them a Bible and no power. We have to bring healing, deliverance. We have to bring worship. We have to be able to transform their life. We have to be able to heal broken hearts. We have to get rid of cancer. We have to be able to open doors. We have to be able to release things in the heavens. We have to be able to do these things. We have to be able to interpret dreams. We have to be able to make sense of their life. We have to have wisdom. We have to have power and authority in this world today. That's why you guys are flocking. That's why the other night we looked up, there was like a hundred new people on the line. We were like, whoa, because God is pulling in the people he's calling and he's pulled you here to unlock you. He's called you here because you can't get it from any random person. The baby was released because she was at the right place and it was released. So here it said that Samuel did not yet know the voice of God. He did not know God's voice yet, but Eli discerned because of his position. And he says him, he says in the, in the eighth verse, he says, then Eli understood the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, so the young lady that came and she heard prophetess T, then she said, I said, you're going to have a dream. You guys heard me tell her. That night she had a dream. She said, I appeared to her in her dream, but it was really God appearing to her. She saw me because I am just, it was just the mouthpiece of God. And God spoke to her in her dream, her direction of what she was supposed to do. That's what God wants to do. He wants to unlock you. And as soon as you unlock, you start hearing the voice of God clearer. You start understanding the voice of God. God wants you to understand his voice and hear his voice so you could set captives free. He didn't bring you here to be cute. He didn't bring you here just to be rich. He didn't bring you here so you could just be married. That marriage is purpose. That marriage, God bless you, Veronica Moore. I look forward to doing ministry with you in two weeks. God bless you, woman of God. She's mighty, you guys. You come into that workshop, you guys, you're going to hear some mighty things. I'm telling you, God is putting people in your life where you will never be the same, but they have to pass the mantle to you. They have to unlock you. You get in their presence and they give you what they have. That's why you sow into their life because you begin to gain what they have. So the baby here, this boy, Eli is serving unto the Lord. He's sowing, he's serving, he's sacrificing because his mother sacrificed and gave him. And now the Lord is giving a return on his investment. God's going to get a return out of you. He's going to get an investment out of you. He's going to raise you up and bless you so you can do great things. Rashawn, you're going to bless so many people. You're going to transform so many lives. I don't care if you went through a divorce. I don't care if you've been hurt and sad. And I don't care what they said about you and talked about you. They talked about Jesus. I don't care if they pulled your beard out. They pulled his beard out. I don't care if they have told lies on you. They told lies about Jesus. I don't care if they crucified you and buried you. They buried him too. But you have come back with the vengeance. You've come back with the force of God. You've come back with the power of God. You've come back with an anointing that no man can take from you to set the captives free, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, to untie yokes, to undo bands, to release the heart of the Lord on people's hearts. You are here so you can receive power to do exploits. The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but I'm demonstrating seeing. the power of God. No more talk. This is 
the year they said for the Jewish year, the year of silence. It's not that we're not talking. It's that when we talk, we demonstrate the power. So the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but about demonstrating his power. You shall demonstrate. Your hands shall be fired to God. Your eyes shall see. You shall interpret dreams. You shall prophesy. It shall manifest. What you say shall come to pass. You will be blessed and God will back you up. He has brought you here for such a time as this to raise you up. Everything you live through is brought to this moment for you to be the deliverer. So what what you went through? Forget it. So what about the shame? So what if you fell and you found God in the process where you were able to get up and walk in his fullness? Everything had purpose. The good, the bad, the ugly, it all had purpose. Now go, go, I receive. go and do his work. Go with power. Go with authority. Go. I receive. Go. I receive. Thank you. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. Sadabaka. So it said he didn't know the voice of God. And therefore, Eli said, go and lay down. And it says, if he calls to you again, say. Now, see, now he's teaching you to relate to God. Here at this ministry, you learn to relate to God. You learn to find your purpose, your calling. You learn to walk in the fullness. You get set free mentally, spiritually, financially. Even if you want weight loss, that's what we do. That's my day job. I have a weight loss plan. You learn to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. You get free from weights, the weights of life, the pressures, the anxieties, the anxiousness. You get free from these things. God does not want you bound. He wants you free. He came that you would have life but life abundantly. And you haven't seen that abundant life, but you're a Christian. I release the abundant life of peace and restoration that things are better. That family that's fighting you is not going to fight you because they will be fighting God. God will raise you up and prove that your name is called. He called you by name. He called you by purpose. He called you in purpose. He called you with an anointing to do great and mighty exploits because you are in him and you shall do the will of God. Hallelujah. So he is training him. If you hear his voice say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. I taught you guys, go to your dream and say, speak, Lord. Before you go to bed, prepare yourself to hear God. And many of you guys were able to hear God. You didn't even know you could do that. So my job is to teach you things you don't know you can do. Well, I'm still growing. My, my spiritual father's still growing. While we're all striving for the things of God higher, we have to have more to give to you. Why you guys all go to bed? I went to bed again this morning, probably 2.30. I'm back up at five and here I am. And we're, can't, we're hashing out things for encounter. We're working all day long. We're downtown in LA. We're sitting here working, grinding, grinding, working, TV shows and making sure families are fed and taking care of people. And we're here restoring things. We're here doing business. Gina, Gina's up half the night, making sure I'm up and taking care of. And you got Skylar and Desiree and, 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 and Bree and, and all these people. And, my, and, and you have mahogany and and mel and they're working day and night so you guys can encounter jesus setting the atmosphere latasha's praying like crazy we have the prayer team sorry about tuesday on the prayer team we we got that together prayer team come back come back we good so god's saying look you're preparing the way for you guys to be encountered. If you're on Zoom on December 3rd or the 4th and 5th, then you are gonna encounter. But if you're in the house, fire of God. Prof the prophet is excited. When prophet Lobi says he's excited, I'm telling you, it's going up. You will see the mightiest miracle signs and wonders. You will be in an atmosphere where you will never be able to be the same. You will go back with a fire and a light in you of Jesus Christ. And you will know your God better. You will know his voice. You will be unlocked. You will see. You will hear. You will be transformed. You will be in purpose. You will have dreams and visions. You will do mighty exploits. That is why you've come to LifelineTNT.org. That's why you've been connected today. God drew you here. He called you here to begin to take you into your purpose. To if you had fire, you have greater fire. If you have knew your purpose, it's going to magnify. He's brought you here with the blessing of the Lord to do mighty things for you. Go aha. I usually always do Q and A, but I guess we started with Q and A on Wednesday today. We still got it this week. So I have all these questions you guys asked. I'm going to go back and we'll come to, to them. Maybe even later on today, I'll come in. If you haven't connected with us, go to lifelinetnt.org and sign up for our free Wednesday training. You'll get on our mailing list. We'll begin to send you things so you can get connected. If you need to get in our WhatsApp group, grab a pin, grab a pin, hurry and say, I got a pin. If you need a pin, if you want to get connected to what we're doing, because not only are we ordaining pastors, people say, can I still get in? Yes, you can. We're ordaining the ministers and the pastors. Last year, we ordained 14. 
team pastors and ministers and launched them out. And they've stayed connected throughout the year. And we've mentored you guys throughout the year. You can still go to the website and register so that we can get you ordained and we can begin to work with you and we can begin to develop you and you can get connected. You know God's called you to ministry. Sign up for your minister's license. You know he's called you to pastor. You go for your pastor's license and develop and let God launch you. Last year, we, we anointed Pastor Emily. And this year, her church has elevated her. They, her and her husband moved. Her father, her husband's had like five raises. God has done mighty things. He's kept them from things. It's such an awesome thing. She's doing the mighty will of God. That is what God's called you to do. Sign up for sure, Alicia. Go and make sure you sign up. Also for the encounter, you're going, it is on Zoom, but it's also in the room. It's going to be amazing. God is amazing. So our free classes that we have on, on Wednesdays and, and we have our men's meeting coming up on the 15th, it's free. We have our women's group. We're here. We, we are here connecting to the Father. Amen. We are here joining ourselves. Does it cost you everything? <laughs> it costs us everything. What does it cost us? Our time, our effort. It costs us our intention. We're intentionally developing ourselves with the things of God. Amen. 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 So, I love you guys. God bless you, Chicago, Illinois. Man, God bless you. Connect with us. Um, I always have to hang up Instagram because um, maybe I have to put it on the other little phone. We have to put uh, uh, not Instagram. We have to hang up um, not Instagram, but uh, Periscope because I use the music from the other unless I start connecting something else. So um, I love God so much and he loves you. Um, definitely not religious, but all about the relationship and demonstrating God's power. And that's what we have here, you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, Houston is blessed because you. I am Justin M. Connect with us, please. So you can come into our Zoom calls in the morning. Um, since we hang up the Periscope, I wanted to let you guys know we're going to hang it up. So God is so awesome. Um, I love you guys so much. I want you guys to grab what you're going to give to the Lord. I want you to grab because something like this is the time that she came up at the time of sacrifice. So it's something kind of amazing where those things draw God. And I want to say something that you may miss, but I want you to hear this. This is so great because don't just throw a number of God. I want you guys to give something of significance to God. Don't give out anything that's not significant. Every day I give daily offerings and my offerings are not $25 or $30 or $40. I always give a certain amount and, and God brings it back to me. It's kind of cool. And um, and then I go into my our meetings and I sow those, and whether it be my spiritual father, we sow and we sow and we pay our tithes to him. I pay tithes on my personal money. I pay tithes on my business money. I pay tithes on my, my children pay tithes and we pay tithes on our ministry. So we pay our tithes and we give our offerings and we give seeds. So our ministry, we have been planting seeds for this ministry to be prosperous. There's a shift that's happening right now. So like Benny Hinn's been giving his anointing to certain people and the great ones are giving their anointing to certain people. So, cause they know that their time is short, they're gonna begin to pass away. And guess what? They passed it on to those who are the rest of us who will transform the world. That's what we're here doing now. We're gaining the mantle so that we can be a part of the next move and the wave of God. Cause he's, good. he's doing it now. He's setting things in order now. You can't see that there's order being set, orders being set right now. It's coming, the things of God are beginning to manifest. So what's really great is it's a time when you connect, you connect yourself and God does so many amazing things. So watch this. When Adam and Eve sin, literally, after they were disconnected to God, you don't see God coming back and talking to Adam and Eve. It was when his, their kids, Cain and Abel, brought sacrifices, it caused God to come back down. Sacrifices brought God back down. Is anybody following me and seeing that? They did, do, where else did he come down? He came down to receive sacrifices. How crazy is that? And it says that Cain brought an acceptable offering, unacceptable, and Abel brought an acceptable offering to the Lord. It cost him. He brought his first fruits, the best, and his brother just grabbed some and said, oh, here you go, God. And God was like, no, I'm not receiving that. No, you, you just want to throw me anything. We're not throwing anything at God. We're really giving him something that means something. We are really connecting to the Father. So when you're giving, when you give to a prophet, that's what's multiplied. I want you to put on your, your offering what you want me to pray for. So whatever it is that you want me to lift up, I'm going to release that thing that you put on there. Whatever you put on that seed, how significant is it to you? How important is it to you? Some of you will give a thousand, some will give 5,000, some will give 700, some will give 500, some will give 200, but make it significant to you where this is a place where, oh, I don't know if I should do that. That might be E. Ah, I want you to put 
what you want released to you today. As the prophet of the Lord, I'm going to begin to go over each one. When you see the little hearts on your names or whatever, it will be released to you. When you see mm. something, I'm going to release it. I may even put a prayer at the bottom. You'll know that today I'm going to spend that time releasing those things to you in Jesus' name. So go and give and come back and I'm going to pray for you. Praise go up and the blessings come down. Labor and fear, Lord, this is what I found. Praise go up, blessings come down. Labor and fear, Lord, this is what I found. When the praise go up, angels surround. Glory to you, Lord, as the blessings fall down. Praise go up, angels surround. Glory to you, Lord, as the blessings fall down. Favor, my 
your face is turned toward me. You have my attention. You're the one that I choose. Oh, 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 oh. You are my selection. The one that I choose. And even in a crowd of people, I still focus on you. Cause you don't have to stay for what you're already made for. And you don't have to plead with me for what I gave you freely. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. And I want you guys to real quickly... We're going to pray through your prayer points real quick. You guys are on day two of your fast, and we've been really seeking the Lord. Um, this has been an amazing time during your fast, so I want to pray through your prayer points with you really quickly. And so um, uh, please read them. Um, please read them. Uh oh, somebody's off. Please read them, uh, the scriptures out loud. Um, if, oh, Facebook completely just fell off. <laughs> wow, Facebook just totally fell off. Um, well, okay, here we go. All righty. So God is so good. Here we go. So your, your, your prayer point scriptures are first John one, nine, um, Isaiah 61, one through nine, Isaiah 58, six and 11 and Philippians two, verse two through 10. I'll say that again. It's uh, first John one, nine. And I think they can post it in here. If one of the girls can post it so you can see it. Um, Isaiah 61, one through nine. Um, um, yeah, there they are. Isaiah 58, six through 11 and Philippians two, two through 10. And, and, um, and this is how it will read and pray. Uh, Lord, I confess my sins and I thank you for cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Whatever you're confessing, you confess to this, uh, this to uh, uh, this to you. And I believe and receive your cleansing this day, Father. Lord, you came, Lord, to set me free. You came to set the captives free. You came to find up the brokenhearted and to proclaim that you're the Lord's savior. You've given me beauty for ashes, God. You've given me joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Lord, you've untied the yokes of my life. Lord, you set me free from oppression. Lord, you've uh, you've undone undone the heavy yokes and the burdens. You loose the bands of wickedness in my life where they don't have place in my life life. They don't have origin in my life. Lord, thank you for, for those things that you've done. Lord, I thank you for removing shame from my life and restoring my soul, my mind, my will, my emotions. I praise you for rebuilding the things that were ruined and blessing my feet to win in authority and walk in purpose. And it says here, um, it says, um, uh oh, hold on for a second. I think you got, can you guys put the website in the, in each, each location for me to you guys? I think they're asking, I got a message that each, um, if you could put the website lifeline TNT, and if you could put the WhatsApp group to join the WhatsApp group would put their full name. And then it says, I praise you Lord for rebuilding the things that were ruined. I thank you Lord for untying um, the yokes. I thank you father God for blessing my feet that I walk in authority and and, and giving me the mind of Christ. And then it said to, to pray in the spirit for three minutes. So we're just gonna pray. Father, I thank you for every person that has sown. They've sown in purpose. They've sown in belief. They've sown in, 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 in everything that you've given them. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have given them, Lord Jesus, abundance. I thank you that they are wealthy in their spirit, in their soul, in their relationship with you, that they're healthy, Lord, that they know you in the power of your resurrection. Thank you that your word has decreed these things. Thank you for the divine connections. Thank you for the transformation. Thank you for the healing. God. Thank you for the love. Thank you, Father God, that they are brand new and made new. As they confess their sins, God, you said you would cleanse them. Thank you that they are cleansed, God. They may not have been able to do it before, but they're able to excel now, God. They are unlocked to excel now, God. They are unlocked to move in purpose right now, God. They are unlocked to be able to walk in wholeness now, God. They are unlocked to hear the voice of God now, God. They are unlocked to have a vision and mission and purpose has found them. Purpose shall seek them out. It shall come to them. They shall dream dreams. They shall have visions. They will walk in your fullness, God. Lord, their mind is stable. Their heart is stable. They are full, God, and not empty. Fears are leaving them. Worry is leaving them. 
They know where you have placed them in the Lord, God. Lord, they are uplifted. Father, that, st that stench of, 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 of destruction is falling off of them, God. Lord, that thing that was carrying them in their family is dismantled. That spirit of, that went before them to destroy relationships is bound and broken. I release healthy relationships. I release restoration to the families. I release the husbands and the wives to find them. I release the purpose to manifest. They shall not remain here in the word of God and the power of God and be bound. They walk in that fullness. The back is healed. I speak to the back, it's healed. I speak to the migraines, you are bound. I speak to the bones, you are secure. I speak to the limbs, you're whole. I speak to you. You will no longer be in pain. The Lord began to visit you. You even feel a tingling sensation that shall come upon you. The Lord is healing you right now. The visiting you right now. Right now, some of you are going to feel a heat come over you because God said you will not be sick. You will not sit in my word and I will not heal you. I heal you today. I speak backs are healed. I speak wholeness. I speak legs are healed. I speak arthritis is gone. I speak fibromyalgia. I am leaving your body. I speak type 2 diabetes is gone. Type 1 diabetes is gone. I reverse eyesight issues. I reverse allergies in the name of Jesus. I cancel herpes in the name of Jesus. I cancel HIV in the name of Jesus. I cancel lies and I cancel bondage and I cancel wickedness that was spoken over you. I cancel the isolation that's been around you. In the name of Jesus, you shall be joined with purpose. You shall be joined with your partner people. You shall walk in the fullness of God. I cancel the assignment over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Your children are whole. The house is released. Thank him every day. It is done. It is released. The job is secure. So I saw someone that went for a house and even a rent rental and they said you didn't qualify god said go back and knock again god said i shall not leave you like this god said don't receive the no i have a better place for you that just was not the place and you quit and god said go back and knock go back and apply go back i said go back to that job they said no but god said it's going to be a yes he's turning things around one of my daughters thought she lost her job the other day i said you didn't lose that job and the job was secured God will preserve you in this season and he shall elevate you in this season. Kodi Abaka, you are the blessing. He's bringing you there with purpose. Shete didi amaha. Kekeke amaha sandoro. They shall seek you. Angels of God, bring the people to seek them out. Bring them to seek them out. They shall knock on their door. They shall come in their inbox. They shall come to them. They will be in the grocery store. They will find them. Their purpose people shall find them. Men shall give unto their bosom. The wealth of the wicked, I release you, is now stored up for them. I release it. Find them in Jesus' name. Your deliverance is now. I get right now, many of you begin to burp. Many of you are going to begin to, to, to cough. Then you'll feel something in your stomach. You feel some pain. Go to that pain and command it. Touch wherever you felt that pain and say, go in the name of Jesus. Deliverance is on you right now. The word heals you. That the word was sent to deliver you. Healing is the children's bread. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's manifesting on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you even stretch your hands up in the air, you will feel something slide down. God is delivering. The angels of God are visiting you that you shall have what God says you shall have right now in the name of Jesus. Everyone who raised their hand should feel it. Everyone who raised their hand should bow their anointing. Everyone that raised their hand should know that God is visiting. It was a prophetic instruction. And when you obey, God will meet you. Your tongues are changing right now. Ha. The Lord visits you. The Lord visits you. The Lord visits you. The Lord, your God, has spoken this day, and you shall never be the same. 
acceptable sacrifice in Jesus name. You shall see fire come into your life. You shall see fire come into your life. Even many of you are getting hot with fire now. The fire is going to touch your life. The fire of God is busy in that room. The fire of God. I feel some of you felt a wind blow. Oh, an animal said take KK shade. The wind is blowing in the mighty name of Jesus. You feel something. The angels are moving about you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is done. It is done in your day and in your life today. If you believe it, begin to say, I believe you, Lord. I receive it. Just give him a hand clap of praise. I believe, I believe Jesus. I believe you, Lord. I receive. I believe you, Lord. I receive. I believe you, Lord. I believe you, Father. I receive. I'm hot. I, I felt all that Father. fire. Come. Who was that that had the fire? Go ahead. Tell me. What did you say? What did you experience? Tell me. And write it. Somebody said, I'm burping over here. Somebody said, I feel heat all over me. Some of you have yeah, gold dust. Come on. My face. You have what? Fire all over your face. Amen. In the name of Jesus. What else? I'm you ever sweating and I just threw up. Mama, I'm just oh, mama, deliverance. Go ahead, Mama Minnie. Honda will say, God has just been, she threw, that is gone from you. This is a time of deliverance and healing. Ooh. Praise God. Oh, look at Mama Minnie. God is all over you. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, he is touching you right now. Fire in the Lord. He is touching you right now. Oh, the Lord is restoring you. Health right now. Healing. Hold this. In hallelujah. 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 Glory hallelujah. to God. Who else? Hallelujah. Who else? hallelujah. I was sweating. I was as I I felt the fire and heat going down my arms, and I was and it, when it got to a certain area, I started sweating. Oh my goodness! I see, Amen for you. I see healing. It says tingling fingers all over. What else? Who has gold? Who has oil on them? What do you have? Speak, speak, speak. speak. I have heat in the bottom of my feet and tingling all in my hands. The heat all over her feet. The tingling came into her room in the name of Jesus all over her. Who else? Who else? Somebody Mama, said, I got oil on my mama. hands. Okay, she said she has oil in her hands in Seattle. And Vanice is in Jamaica and she said she spoke in new tongues. Hallelujah. The tongues found in Jesus' name. What else? What else? Come on. Mama, I took a cold shower while listening and I just got out and I feel like I've been sitting in a sauna. Oh I'm my gosh. The fire was so hot. Like, I feel like I'm sitting in a sauna. You it's shall so do hot. great and mighty exploits. You shall deliver captives. You shall do great things. God shall send people to you. He is establishing you and he shall visit you and you shall never be the same in the mighty name of Jesus. It is so. Canada is blessed because you are in Canada. Hey, there it goes. Go, go, look at her. Look at her. Fire God all over. Look at her. There it go, goes. Get go, off of her. Go. Get off of her. Release her. Release her. Release her. Go. Fire in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Release her. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Nothing shall hold you back. This fast is proven. Look at her. Go, 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 go. Get it all off. Go, 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 go. go. Pull it off. Go. Even if you got to go to the bathroom, it's okay. God got you. God got you. In the name of Jesus. Look at the Lord doing it right now. Look at the Lord doing it. Right now. Right now. Oh. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody Whenever I lifted up my hands, I could feel the heat overcome my whole body. And my hands felt like angels were just holding them up. Go ahead. Let me see. The sound just went down. Okay. Go ahead. Is there anybody else? When whenever I lifted up, hold on for a second, baby girl. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Oh, the devil's a liar. <laughs> he was like, no, stop testifying. I rebuke that. No, oh, good. yes. Here we go. Go, sis. Go, speak, speak. Okay. So whenever I was lifting up my hands, yes, I felt the heat come over my whole body, but I yes. felt like the angels were holding my arms up. Oh my God, that's exactly so why you guys would have visitations. The Lord is visiting you today. And I said, wait, somebody here said, oh, this, uh, what's her name? Uh, Jen, Jen, Jen uh, Alarab. God bless you. We're lifelinetnt.org. You can connect with us. She said that she feels sweat all over her hands. It's her first time visiting. Bonnie says she's burping. Deliverance is finding you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, Rachel. And she said she felt a breeze. Latasha felt a, uh, a, Daniels felt a breeze fly by her. The angels began to move when we said, flap your wings. Sweating came to my redness uh, ruffles on Instagram. Let me look at, what is what is uh, YouTube say? Come on, somebody else. Anybody else? What have you experienced? Uh, Fire from God. I've been and, uh, new tongues trembling all over. Fire oh, wow. God, trembling, new tongues. 
fire of God all fire over of rigid, rigid. And then we have a, a Tammy who's new, who said, I felt uh, the wind shift us uh, uh, swifting by her hands. And then we have uh, on, on, on YouTube, thank you, Jesus. They, the burping. And if you got, got really hot and warm is Jamie Luis in the name of Jaime or Jamie, uh, Jane, excuse me, Lewis in the name of Jesus said, uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on for a second. Let me come back over here. Anyone else? Anyone Mama, else? I felt the fire I of God. Some cough Mama, too. Cough. I felt the fire of God come upon me. And I felt like the new tongues, they definitely, as soon as you said it, I noticed a new tongue. And then yeah. I also felt just the fire of God in my, and I also feel it on my, my nostrils. I feel them like kind of open up and then pressure on my head pressure in her head. I want you to re go get your oil because the enemy has really attacked you in your mind. I want you to put oil on your head. And I want God, I saw God doing deliverance all day. You have 24 hours of deliverance upon you. God wants you to go after everything that he shows you. You're going to think it's strange and you're going to call out something and it's going to begin to come off you. You're going to feel burping. You're going to feel uh, coughing. You're going to have some spitting up things and you're going to feel these things happening all day today for 24 hours. I saw mighty deliverance come upon you. Amen. I and God, I saw God tell me to tell you to sow a seed towards that because your deliverance is necessary for your next level. Something that that thing dismantle, cut the umbilical cord. I heard God say and connect in Jesus' name. Um, over there, they're going to give you how to connect to us. Lifeline TNT.org. And if you want to connect, you can go to the WhatsApp and you can send us a WhatsApp message. We'll 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 put you in that group. Uh, five. Four, uh, 562-418-4689. And we have our encounter in December where, where Prophet Lobby is coming. We will be in the house. If you got to get your VIP tickets now because they're going so fast. Um, the only time you'll see Prophet Lobby live, we are going to be in um, Long Beach, California on December 4th and 5th. And last through, this is the third year he's come. We are going to have such fire of God. You do not want to miss being at our encounter. And if you are out the country and can't make it, go to Zoom if you want you can go to Zoom and God is going to uh, connect you. He knows you're online. Like right now, people are getting delivered and healed all over the line. Oh, I've been, uh, I need healing from itching. I feel somebody uh, uh, put dust on me. See you guys, we just had a lady get delivered from that over here. Something is touching her uh, where I wish, I wish you were in our live. You got to come in in the morning. Cause I would have, I would have, have Tracy pray for you. Cause she just got delivered from something messing with her too. And we will pray for you. And that shall cease in the name of Jesus. That spirit that was put on you will be removed in Jesus name. Connect with our ministry and we'll pray for you. That, that, will, that is nothing. We just had her testify about it this week. Tracy, you got work to do. You got work to do. Who else? Who else? Who else? And she's on Instagram and she said oh, she's my like, feet are on fire. Feet are on fire. What else? When you what said in the mighty name of Jesus, I literally felt like a whole wave coming on my arms of a tingling sensation. Jesus. And it's just, I got goosebumps and I have a whole blanket on. She had a, so I, praise <laughs> God. Praise God. I'm Ooh. hot, mama. I'm hot. My neck just got so hot all of a sudden. Fire. 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 When don't, the don't, was don't, don't cheat yourself on this fast. Do not cheat. Yeah. Do not, if you say, see people burping now, go to the pit. Yeah. Hey, so. <laughs> go, go, go. Mama, when that woman was testifying that she felt new tongues, I said, I receive it. And I started coughing really bad and I felt a new heat come over me and a heat on my face, like the usual heat that I always feel on my face. Yes. That's incredible. Yes. God is visiting you guys. By the end of this five days, and I know some of you are starting on Monday, which will be a new group. This, uh, look here. God is doing a mighty work. Pray these prayer points every five hours that we put up and begin to agree these things. This is untying those yokes, undoing those bands. Whatever you were dealing with, you shall kill that thing. If you had a broken heart, you will not have any more. If you were still suffering from death and hurts and pains, that is removing from you in Jesus' name. Yes, he does. He transcends space and time, Claire. That's the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Said she lives says, 10 minutes from downtown. She's going to be there. Make sure you get your, before it changes from early registration, make sure you get your tickets now because I think after the end of next week, it'll change again because our team is working so hard that we are trying to get so many things together to make sure you have all your, your badges, your t-shirts, your bags, your pamphlets, everything. It's a lot of work. So God is, is going to bless you at our encounter. So we have our free classes. We ordain, ordain people, but healing deliverance is in the house every time. 
time. And the Lord manifests and he loves you and he shows up for you. And we worship the Lord, our God, Jesus Christ. And he's our master, Lord and savior. And we thank God for all he's done. And we receive all that he is. Everything the Bible says we can do, we do. There is no lack to us. We do this word, we live this word and the living word became flesh and it dwells among us in all of us. And we thank God for the victory we have in Christ Jesus. Uh, uh, can, um, I don't see us on, on, on Facebook. So, uh, please put lifeline TNT org on there so we can connect with them. So I love you guys. Uh, I may come back on, I don't know. To, oh, I'm catching a flight tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm catching a flight tonight, but I will see what I can do later on. Connect. So if you want to know when we're on live, go to five six. Uh, let me get your pin. Five six two. 418-4689 and say, add me to your WhatsApp group. Please send it in WhatsApp and as, a, as a text message. 562-418-4689. Say, please add me to your WhatsApp group and put your full name because we can't add you without your full name. And then you can go to lifelinetnt.org and schedule. I'm Prophetess TNT, Tara Nicole Tarver. Can you please go to our, our, our today, just go to our web, our, 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 what's it called? YouTube and like and share. This helps us to get our views up and they start to share it with more people. Okay, so like and share it. And we love that we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. Now my daughter has us on Twitter too. So we love you so much today. I will be praying over your prayers. So if you see this at a later date and you just say put prayer and put exactly what you needed me to release in the heavens for you and do all you're supposed to do. And I saw, I, you know what, listen to the thing. If God gives you $300, Give God his 30, don't give him three. Say, oh, I had to pay this bill. It was more important. No, it's more important to give God his tithes and your protection, especially if he gave it to you. So back into where God is feeding you and you will see a major manifestation. Tithing is the biggest way to bring your best protection over anything. So tithing, he will rebuke the devourer for you. Then I sow offerings, then I sow seeds. I could say that because in a month I could sow $50,000 and God will bless me. And, I, I, and I'm getting way over and beyond and we help a lot of people. So I thank God because I understand I give from a place of sacrifice and I stay connected. So I wouldn't tell you something I don't know that I have to do myself and beyond any of you. I'm the biggest giver here, I have to be. So I love you guys so much. Um, we are excited about what God is doing, what he's done, what he's going to do. Pray your prayer points today. Don't forget them. Pray them out loud. And we love you, love you, love you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank God for each and every one of you. Um, go with the Lord and he will go with you. I'm going to play one of our new songs. Um, I think Queen Fina is going to give me the rest of it today. We talk to you soon. I just learned to trust you. I learned that you do exactly what you say you're gonna do. If your words say it, you're gonna do it. You gave me a rhema word, you spoke it into my life, and it began to manifest. The devil came and tried to trick me and say it wouldn't happen. It looked like it wasn't possible, but you came through. You came through. Every time I look around, you do what you say you're gonna do, God. And I just love you. Yeah, hallelujah. You do what you say you're gonna do. Oh God, I just trust you. Trust in the Lord with all my heart and my mind, and I lead not to my own understanding, but in all my ways, I acknowledge you. I trust you. I remember the days when it used to be there, just a phrase when I wouldn't do what I was supposed to do, God, and you came through like you said you were gonna come through. Yeah. <laughs> I trusted you. Thank you. There is none like you. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. You died for me. You rose for me. You bore those welts on your back for me. You carried your cross for me. You let a nail me to that cross for me. And you did it all. Except through the Son, you did it for me. You gave him up for me. When I wasn't even thinking about you, you came after me. You were looking for me when I wasn't looking for you. Yeah, I love you.
adelante con él. She said they want to hear, they want to hear silences, the dynamite dunamis. Okay. Okay, let's put him on. There we go. Dynamite dunamis, tiggity. Dynamite dunamis, tiggity. Tiggity. Give him all the glory because he fought it for me. Yeah, yeah, we never, never leave me lonely. His love and his mercy get his grace. This is liberal, why don't I have a taste? Advertise campaign for the king. He's the truth and the light in a way. Yada, 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 me. Hallelujah, holla, holla, holla. The God I serve is bigger than your mighty dollar. Keep my peace on the Bible. Gotta stay focused on my good, good father. There was healing in the swings through the power of Christ. I could do all things. Feel the atmosphere, Holy Spirit here. Your love is always near, but I don't have to fear. Break every chain, erasing the shame. There is grace in his name. Dynamite, do the miss, to your teeth. Dynamite, do the miss, to your teeth. Your presence there is nothing but the love. Holy Spirit come and fill us up. Dynamite, do the miss, to your teeth. Dynamite, do the miss, to your teeth. Your presence there is nothing but the love. Holy Spirit come and fill us up. Walking the epitome of liberty is resurrection power, man, and living me. He took away my limits, gave me eagle wings, so above all these evil things. Cause even when I strayed and I slipped, he forgave my behavior that was sick. Even though this life has been a trip, I'm in nearly praise on my lips. His love is extravagant and overflow. Rest for the river, keep going. He make everything brand new, trust the way that he do when his better plans too. I gave him masters in return, he gave me beauty. Joy gives my strength when I'm moody. Let the weak say I'm strong cause it's power. He making the hero out of cowards. Dynamite, don't a miss, to your teeth. Dynamite, don't a miss, to your teeth. Your presence there is nothing but the love. Holy Spirit come and fill us up. Dynamite, don't a miss, to your teeth. Dynamite, don't a miss, to your teeth. Your presence there is nothing but the love. Holy Spirit come and fill us up. Jesus, take the wheel. It's my new generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama T, she got that dude and miss that power. You not used to this, unbothered by your foolishness. The favor of God giving out poor. They're asking if she giving out more. But baby, it runs in the family. Solid foundation, the house always standing. She be casting out demons and healing the sick. Taking these souls like she's hitting the lick. Heavy discernment, so none of your tricks will fly. She hops in her office and prophesy. Read the word of truth, open up your eyes. Pop the TNT, breaking soul ties. She be in God's presence like her name's Elijah. Walking in blessings and miracles. Free every way like Imperial. Got it, but not by material. Spirit on point. Like some leather interior, holy ghost fire that rises to the ceiling. Moving God say so, spiritually deep like it's case. So making a way where there's no way that's case closed. You can get it if you stay close. She's sowing the seeds like a payphone. TNT do them is power. TNT do them is power. Standing God's presence all hours. Tearing and tarver. Tearing and tarver. TNT do them is power. TNT do them is power. Standing God's presence all hours. Tearing and tarver. Tearing and tarver. One CG so can bring you overflow. Start to tell you things that only God can know. Do it for the kingdom, it's not for show. Raise the dead with the breath of life. If you thirst and hunger, quit your appetite. Cover your wrong only in the right. Fast and pray, that sacrifice. Glorify God, you can't change your demeanor. She dressed in his glory, can't get any cleaner. His majesty showing. You think it's on top, how his spirit be flowing. The angels be giving out gold dust. Really be fresher than cold, cause they hate and excuse me, you don't even know what's put on this earth just a ruling reign. Get up and walk if you're tired and lame. This is a place to take you to the sovereign king. He'll run and get you with a signal. Y'all can never stop us, it's a holy team. Yeah. TNT do them is power. TNT do them is power. Standing God's presence all hours. Tearing and tarver. Tearing and tarver. TNT do them is power. TNT do them is power. Standing God's presence all hours. Tearing and tarver. Tearing and tarver.
goes on and on. Your love for me goes on and on, on and on, on and on. And yeah, your grace goes on and on. Never leave me faithful one. Your love for me goes on and on, on and on, on and on. Yeah, drive me deep into your waters. I never want to wander. Yeah, yeah. All I need is a new father. All I need is a new father. Yeah. Drive me deep into your waters. I never want to wander. Yeah, yeah. All I need is a new father. All I need is a new father. Yeah. You are all I need. Son of God. 
he is God. Let me explain to you because a lot of people don't know who Jesus is. I hear a lot of people say, in the name of Jesus, but they have no power to back in the name of Jesus. When we say in the name of Jesus, that is your passport to be able to have all of access to heaven. That when I say in the name of Jesus, the power backs that name. It is my passport to get everything that I need on earth as it is in heaven because I have a relationship with him, because he's a real person, because it's not a God, he's my God. Let me start to the word of God and explain to you why he is so amazing. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. That's John, the first chapter. When you go to the ninth verse and the third verse, they tell you two things. All things were created by him. All things were created by him. All things were created by him, with him, and nothing was created that was not created by him. What? He created the heavens and the earth. He's the one that's speaking, let there be light. When it says Elohim, in the beginning, God created. That word Elohim is God created. They're talking about the same person. He is God. Now, when you look in the ninth verse of John, the first chapter, the Bible says, the true light, which enlightens everyone. The 10th verse says, he was in the world and the world was created by him, but the world did not recognize him. If that's not enough, go to the word of God and see who is this Jesus. Why everything must obey him? Because he created everything, because he holds everything together, because he is the way, the truth, the life, and our Lord. Read in Colossians, the first chapter. It tells you in the 13th verse, but matter of fact, let's just skip to 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. And by him, all things were created, things in heaven and things on earth, visible, invisible, whether they are thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers, all things were created by him. He is before all things, and in him, all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the it's the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that in all things, he would have preeminence. He is God. Now, many people get confused because they say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, they are one, that they may be one as we are one. And John, the 17th chapter and 11th verse, he tells us that. The name Jesus is an earthly name. It was left here for us that we could have protection. He said in John, the 17th chapter and the 11th verse, verse protect them by that name, the name that you gave me. He gave the name for us as an earthly name of protection. Right now in, the, in heaven, he is revealed not as Jesus, but he is the Lamb of God. He is Elohim. He is. Now why this. It was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah. He said in the ninth verse, for unto us a child is born, for unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Father, Hallelujah, and the Prince of Peace. Now, who is he to us? He is our master. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is God. He is amazing. And do you know what he does? Everything. Greater works shall we do because he went to the Father. He is the reincarnated. He is Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the resurrected life now. He is the glorified risen. He is amazing. He is powerful. He holds all things together. Oh my goodness. He came in a physical being so we could know what it was like to walk on earth just as he walked on earth. He had to be able to relate with us. As he was. Bunch of you guys looking like you want to know what I'm telling her. <laughs> uh, let me see where they at. Let me see. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> they looking like, what is she saying to her? Um, she was saying that she felt something on her head when we were praying and it moved to the back and it moved to the front and it moved, it was moving. So I was telling her that when I first started doing deliverance, so this is the overflow, those that stay and get the bless, extra blessing. Um, when I first started doing deliverance, that um, I started doing deliverance on myself. I had the one time I did it with somebody else, and then it was all about war on me. I didn't want to care about what anybody else is doing. I'm not caring how mean you are. I, look, let me just get me. 
So I started being able to recognize when there was a spirit that was attached to me. So my first couple months I was commanded. And so I could recognize when something would shift. So when now when I do deliverance on somebody, I know when a demon jumps, like I touch somebody's head and I, the demon will jump, move to the back because I, and I feel it move. Like you can feel it literally move. So she was saying she felt something shift three places. I said, now, you know, it's there. You don't need to know a name. You don't need to call. All you got to do is say, I got you. I don't permit you, allow you, or tolerate you. Whatever lets you in, I break its assignment. You don't have a legal right to be in my life. I cancel you. I break you and say, I command you to go. And if you got to begin to cough, because Ruah is air. Air. They come through their spirits. So like Holy Spirit, a spirit comes through air, wind. That's why even if you've been raped or something, you get delivered. It flies out the vaginal area. Or if you were raped in, in the anal area, it'll go out the anal area. It may, you may even hear your ear pop sometimes. Tears may be getting to come. This is all my deliverance class. So we, we may have to go in another section of deliverance. And then maybe you cough, maybe you burp or something, or maybe you scream something, or maybe just there's no, no manifestation, but the word itself drives you out because you saturate. So I was gonna tell her it's attacking her mind because it was attacking her head. And so um, read the word of God all day out loud. They hate that. Begin to decree and declare. And I said, give a cough, command it to go. If you find yourself you know, coughing, command it to go, come out and never return. You'll know you, get, you have deliverance. So you guys have a question about that? Yes. Okay. Somebody said that's what's happening to you. Where are they at? Yes, yeah. this is Alina. That's what I was saying. I said when you had first said it, my mm -hmm. back, all of a sudden the fire was like in my back. And where'd then it go? Tracy, where'd you go? Are you there, Tracy? Yeah, I'm here. So then yeah. it went to my leg and yeah. then my shoulder. It was like it was just like bouncing all around. And so I started speaking to my leg, you know, from where I fell. And yeah. then it's like I'm sitting here and I'm laying and I'm like, oh, no, you won't. So I was glad you just said what you were saying. Yeah, she began to ask me. So it's usually if it's happening to one, it's happening to another. So then I, you just command the spirit to go and you take you can take your oil, put the oil on you and then the command the fire of God to you. Get off of me. I break. You have to go war on it. Don't be like in the name of Jesus. Uh, you go with boldness and power. Tracy was fighting. It first appeared in her back. That she um, was. Go ahead, Tracy. When I when you first said put your hand, um, I started to belch. Uh, and then as I belch, it feels like gas, but I know it's not gas. I feel it moving. So every place it moved, I put my hand there. There. And so when I moved my hands up, I was telling it to get off me. There. She says, when you speak, get off me. You have now. You're coming against it. That's why you have to be a part of your own deliverance. You have to command that thing to go. You have to break its assignment. You have to cancel it. You have to wage war against the spirit that's attacking your life. If you can wage war at this level, they can't have you. Or your children. You gotta recognize when a demon's on your kids or your grandkids. You gotta recognize when a demon is working through somebody. You gotta recognize that there's a spirit on that person and you may have to do some deliverance. Some of y'all looking like wow. Oh man. Casey, we might have to get you here for an encounter. He got a camera. Yes, Good. bring the camera. Casey, he, he like he ready. Okay, so tell connect with Gina today. We gotta figure out how to get you you here, get you a ticket and figure out how to get you here. Yeah. See if your mother-in-law can come and stay with your wife and kids. Oh, um, I'll sponsor his ticket. I'll buy his ticket. I'll sponsor yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. He said she'll sponsor his ticket. You see this family? His, um, yeah. encounter, his encounter ticket. <laughs> yes, yeah. he bought your encounter ticket. See? I'll, I'll do it today. I'll do it today. So just put Casey on his name. Okay. And, put it in, and register him. Or do you and want me to send the cash app you the money? And, or you want, how do you want me to do it? Like, 
you can send you can send it to his cash app and he can register himself. That's a good act of faith for him. And then we all will get his will get his ticket. If you guys want to sew towards him, he is a videographer. He does movies. He does great things. He is anointed. And the devil just tried to block his blessings. His wife has been sick for years. He's been a man taking care of his family by himself, taking care of his kids and his wife and coming home trying to work. And he is yeah. just amazing so my, guys, my so spirit immediately wanted to do it as soon as you said it because i know that you guys want to help towards that just put yeah. casey on there casey and family and we're going to get his his ticket for him to get from florida to here and we'll get his hotel and stuff so you guys we don't want him to worry about anything and and so if you guys want to like she said god touched their heart if god touched your heart and you want to help just put on my cash app or Venmo or paypal casey and we're going to get his stuff today and see what we can do to get him here because cash app let me tell you something. Put your cash out, Casey. I'm going to tell you something. I want to say something. I've known Casey for 11 years. His wife has been sick almost all their entire marriage. And to where she couldn't walk, you guys. And this man will be coming home, working, moving the family. Their son has some special needs. He is a father. He's cooking. He's cleaning. I've seen some men. I had never seen a man love his family, his wife more than this man has. And he, he's gotten tired this year. And they just got a move, had a move from New York. He didn't know how they're going to do it. His mother died. The neighbor died. Everybody's died at once. His wife became sick and, and bedridden. And he has been taking care. I'm not just, I can say this because we're family, but this man has done everything he could. And I really felt like he needed to get here to get his breakthrough. And that I want him to film and do some stuff too, but God is bringing him here because he needs to get something to take it back to his family. So Amen. You guys want to connect and you're like, hey, I want to sew into that, then please put his name on it because today I'll have Gina on it. She'll contact him, see what we can do to get him connected. If you want to sew into the ministry, I can help him get everything. So you can just send it to my to our cash app and put KC. Or if you send it to him, I'll have to connect with him and see what he gets so we can try to get his room and his uh his plane ticket so if you're doing the plane ticket in the room or something give it to the ministry so that she can pay for those things today amen just put his name on it and family and and we are just blessing pray for him today you guys everybody pray for his family pray for him his wife is getting better we've been praying her through i saw her sitting up i saw her her strength and strength coming back to her we we're releasing the fire of god we located some things that were attacking their family and so uh we're just going to help that family. This is what we do. She's been walking, She's been walking slowly. Oh, praise God. Yay. See, I said she was going to improve and get better. And we were, we were, this is a great blessing. So amen, you guys. Uh, this is what we do. So, and I, and I know he'll come and get some good footage because I was supposed to go there this week, but we ended up having something come up across and some other stuff. And they were like, you can't leave prophetess. So I was trying to go there. I wanted to go to his family and take care of him and his wife and, and just be a blessing at the house and cook and clean. Let me go help them. That's what I was trying to do. And I didn't, I was able to, I was going to take Gina because she's a nurse to help with his wife so he could have a break. When you see a man that is taking care of his family, you guys got to praise that. And it, his wife is sick and he's loving on you and building you up and taking care of the kids and doing homework and cooking and still doing it and trying to move. Men don't cry often and they don't cry very hard, but sometimes you got to hear their cry when they're not crying. Okay. So we're going to bless that family and, um, and we're going to help him to get to encounter and we'll figure out how somebody can come help his wife while we're here and he can take something back and we have a life experience change while he's here for three three days. So we love you. Uh, we appreciate you, Casey. Uh, we think the world of you. And today the Lord blesses you and your family. And he's your God who does these things for you. And he's touching the people to do to be a blessing. So I hadn't planned on staying on. We were off a long time ago. We just listened to the music. So all you guys got the overflow who stayed. That's what happened with the day of Pentecost. They stayed and the, the anointing flowed to them. So, so many of you guys heard about deliverance. You knew what was attacking you. You know how to deal with it. And others, some of you got able to bless a brother. So the Lord visits the way he visits you. You praise God for him because tomorrow could be you. God locates you and he cares about you. So I love you guys so much. 
Uh, Gina will take care of that today. She'll reach out to him. And if you guys get a chance today, inbox him, tell him you love him and his family. His wife, Shane, will put both of them in our, our, our messages and just love on them today and pray for them, call out their names as we are praying for you. I'll be praying for you guys all day. So I have to go to Vegas today, but praise God, um, I'll, I'll be thinking of you and I may come live a little bit later. I love you guys. We'll be back on a Monday and don't forget our men's meeting. Oh, it's going to be fire. Don't we committed to invite the men for the 15th. So go to lifelinetnt.org. Hi, Yvonne, that's my sister. I love you. Don't forget to get your sisters to sign up for Encounter. December 4th and 5th, Papa Lowe's in the house. It's gonna be fire for two days. So in Long Beach, so you can get a hotel at the Hilton if you wanna stay, but it's gonna be amazing for two days. So lifelinetnt.org, share, share, share. Let's all post the flyer today, guys. Post the flyer, invite, and then if I can get Desiree to post the commercial and we can send it out to people, let's start promoting heavily, you guys. If everybody can do that, we will begin to share the word of what Jesus is doing in Long Beach this year. And it's going to be mighty, mighty, mighty Encounter Jesus 2020, lifelinetnt.org. If you need a one-on-one, -on -one, message me. If you need to speak with me and for our five-minute message and you're brand new, Desiree will get that for you so I can have a one-on-one -on -one and get to know you and pray for you. We love you. We study the word of God. God. We do the acts of Jesus Christ. We know him, we experience him, and we set captives free. We love you in Jesus' name. I am prophet to TNT, Tara Nicole Tarver, throwing out this lifeline. Have a great and awesome day. We'll talk later. God bless. Love you. I love you so much. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Come back. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Love you, love you. Thank you. Oh, you guys are amazing. <laughs>